Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 17 Pro. So let's get started. So for your very first time, first thing we need to go ahead and power on the device by pressing and holding this big button until we see the Apple logo and then we let go. Now once you see the Apple logo, you just wait for the phone to turn on. Really simple and easy step to do. Now, as we're waiting for it, we're gonna go ahead and give it a, some time. And once you're on, you should see what's known as the hello screen message, welcome you to your phone. We're gonna swipe up just like that with that gesture and then select our language and then the region that we're in. From here on, we're gonna select the appearance if you want it bigger text you want to choose any of the options I'm gonna hit continue with the default now you have the option to set it up with another device or not if it's nearby it will set up without another device the next thing we need to do is enter the Wi-Fi password here to select the Wi-Fi uh, because you want to be connected to the internet to activate successfully so we're gonna click and I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password now and once you enter that we're gonna get continue with this process and it's gonna spin up there, which is normal. And it's gonna go say it's gonna take a few minutes to activate. It shouldn't be that long. You can wait for this. And then after that, you may see the option to update your software. You can always do this later in the settings. So I'm just gonna click on later. And then data and privacy. You can read through this and learn about it. I'm gonna hit continue. And then you select the range for this user, some adult here, and then face ID. If you want to go ahead and set up the face ID. You can do that now or you can set it up later. It'll basically scan your face. So basically use things like Apple Pay and make purchases and subscribe to services. I'm just gonna set up later here. Passcode, you have the option to do any of these. I'm just gonna go with the four digit code here. Super simple, but of course make sure yours is more complex than that. And then we're gonna wait for, now this is the important step around activating your new device. If you're moving from another iPhone, you can basically back up from your iCloud. If you have another iPhone nearby, you can also do that. Or if you're moving from Android, you can do that. And also if you have a backup in your Mac or PC, you can follow any of these steps to recover your previous data from your other device to the iPhone. Or you can simply choose not to do any of that. For this process, just to make things simple, I'm gonna select don't transfer anything, but for your case, make sure you follow through one of this. Each one is slightly different, so I'll just go through the screen and you'll see how to activate. Now, the next thing it's gonna ask you for is Apple ID. Basically, you wanna go enter your Apple ID in order to sign into your iCloud if you have one. Now, if it's your very first Apple device and you don't have an Apple account at all, you can click on this option, which will allow you to create one for free basically to help you access everything on your phone or you can always set up later in the setting which I'll just select here so we can move on to the next step here and then you're gonna see terms and condition I'm gonna simply hit agree and it's gonna ask me again to update here so I'm gonna hit continue uh, and then iMessage and FaceTime on this phone so we'll hit continue as well if you want location services on for things like find my and other map services we're going to turn that on or you can set it up turn on later so you're going to continue here and then this is the important part so depending on the phone that you have if you have a us model you can only activate through eSIM. if you have a international model you can actually put a eSIM on the right side with the sim ejector tool which will be included which this phone for me does not have now when it comes to activating your eSIM card Two main ways you can do it, you can transfer from existing iPhone if you have it. So you can select this. And basically if your iPhone is on iOS, as you can see your iOS 16 or later, you can just hit continue and it will go ahead and transfer your phone eSIM over. So it's a quick eSIM transfer. So we can go ahead and unlock and we can see that message. Now, if you don't have that option for to transfer directly like this, you can also do is a QR code. So what a QR code looks like would be something like this. Now this is something you get from your phone company or the carrier. They'll provide you a custom QR code which you can scan with the camera. When you click on scan, it'll pick it up. Or if you 
don't have that, you can also manually enter this information which your phone carrier will give you so you can activate your eSIM card with your phone line. So again, two different ways you want to follow whatever is applicable for you. I'm just going to go ahead and set up later since I don't have one to activate, but that's where you would activate your SIM card. And then screen time report, we're going to hit continue here. If you want to share analytics with your iPhone, with Apple, I simply choose not to, but up to you. And then you can customize appearance, light versus dark or auto, so you can hit continue. And then Apple Intelligence with iPhone 17 Pro comes with Apple Intelligence. Uh, you can set that up so you can use Apple Intelligence. You can do this way. And then if you want customize summary, you can do that or you don't choose to. If you want priority notification, whatever it's choosing. And then camera control is this button right here to basically activate camera when you press and release. So you can turn the setting on to do that. So you can hit continue. And then visual intelligence also is activated with this. So you can use that and hold to learn about things around you. Hit continue. And then the action button here will allow you to customize the actions. For example, we can use this for the silent mode. We can use it for focus, camera, visual intelligence, flashlight, voice memo, recognize music, and then translate, and then a couple other options as well. Or you can choose no options. So I'm going to keep it as a default one, which is silent mode. So it can continue. Siri, you want to set up Siri. Basically, you will continue here, and then you can press to use this, this Siri, this button, press and hold, or you can say, hey, Siri. They're going to continue or we'll set up later, just for it. And then you have the option for emergency service. We're going to hit continue. And then finally, we're getting welcome to iPhone, and we are ready to go. As you can see here, our phone is good to go. If you haven't done so, make sure you sign into your Apple account, and then you can go to the App Store right away to download any of your favorite app, and you can start using the call feature here to begin making calls, messaging, and if you signed into a previous account, all of your things will start syncing up, and you should be good to go. So that's how you activate and set up your iPhone 17 Pro. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.